There is one question that is posted more than any other on close to every Facebook group, Discord server, and YouTube channel such as mine regarding the DJI Digital FPV system. And that is, where is Canvas mode? And when are we going to get it? Today, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update on what the current situation is. To be clear up front, there is no official news on Canvas mode right now. There is no date and there has not even really been any official confirmation that this is ever going to happen. However, what we are going to do is explore what the situation is, where did the talk of Canvas mode come from, and more than anything, highlight this once again to the likes of DJI, Cardex, Runcam and others to say we users of the DJI FPV system need this feature, we want this feature and we would like you guys to get it to us as soon as possible. Anyway, let's get on with this video and try to explore what this canvas mode thing is all about. Okay, so to try and explain this rabbit hole, in July this year, I put out a video and a statement on RC Groups and Facebook criticizing DJI for the fact that they appeared to be releasing new encrypted ear units that would only work with official cameras. We believed this was happening because there was a lot of noise in the background and we were being told this through various sources, but Cadex also stated in their marketing material for the Polar Starlight and the Polar Vista that this would be encrypted for future use. After they did this, I put out the video and statement criticizing them for basically being quick to block out third-party cameras such as the Runcam MIPI, but ignoring issues on the FPV system such as the many existing bugs and not bringing new features. The video got quite a bit of traction from you guys and shortly after its release, DJI and Cadex reached out to me. DJI made it clear that they have never stated they intended to encrypt the ear unit and it was not going to happen, and Cadex said that they would not be encrypting it either. They then went on to put out a statement, which I'll put up on the screen now, which was addressed to the community and said, this hardware update, which is due to the shortage of chips, has nothing to do with encryption. Regarding the question of whether the updated ear unit light, aka Vista, will be compatible with the Nebula Nano, what they mean by that is older, non-120 frames a second cameras or third-party ones, considering the concerns of many users, we must be responsible to our users, we will no longer push the encryption upgrade of the ear unit light Vista. Now, when you read this statement, it doesn't really align with DJI's. What they said to me was encryption was never going to happen. Cadex basically say they've changed their mind. For me and the many people who were following this, we firmly believe that there was encryption coming. However, the kickback from the community made them change their mind. Up to this point, there had never been any mention of canvas mode coming to DJI. However, as part of that statement, Cadex added on the bottom, we are working on canvas mode. This was the first time we had had any hint of canvas mode coming for DJI. DJI themselves have never officially said it, and it had been said by Cadex only. In the background, as I've already said, I had actually been contacted by both DJI and Cadex separately. Cadex had asked me some questions regarding canvas mode and asked if I had any technical information on it that I could provide. Because I am not a dev, I don't have anything like that. However, I did pass them on to someone who did know. There is a developer who has been heavily involved in the Ardra Pilot community who's had a lot of involvement in implementing Canvas mode before, and I did get Cadex and them in touch with each other. They did pass a load of information on to Cadex, and that is where my involvement in that ended. From that point forward, there has been no news. I have spoke to the developer who is an absolutely outstanding guy and he did pass a ton of information over to Cadex with regards to implementing Canvas mode. 
However, there has been no news since. All of the word on the street that I've had is that it is being worked on. When this was put out, there were a lot of questions that were being asked on, well, who is actually going to be implementing this? Is CADEX writing the software for the DJI FPV system, or are CADEX simply passing this info over to DJI? There has never been any official confirmation on what the relationship is between any of these companies, but my understanding of the situation is that CADEX have passed that info over to DJI and it's in their hands. Here and now today, that is where things have stood and nothing has actually changed. DJI have never out and out said canvas mode is coming and there has been no the public talk of this from CADEX other than the odd post of it's coming. For me, my understanding of the situation is, is that DJI are looking at it, but if or when this will ever happen remains to be seen. And you should still take into account that DJI have never officially said they are working on it. And without DJI support, I just don't see how it's going to happen. So today we left not knowing really any more than we knew back then, other than having a statement from CADEX saying we are working on canvas mode. I do have some thoughts on that that I'm not going to go into. And all I will say is that statement I feel was done very, very early in the conversation especially that was had with me. I'm not saying that they hadn't investigated it before then because I don't know, but all of this was pushed out very, very rapidly. And I think it was pretty much day one at that point or even day zero. As for whiff and when it will happen, well, anyone's guess would be right. If you are watching this DJI, what I would say is your users want canvas mode. We need it. The OSD on the DJI Digital FPV system, whilst works and is basic, it lacks many of the features we've come to expect on other systems, including SharkBite and HD0, that allow us to have that full OSD to get the best from systems such as Express LRS, Crossfire, Tracer, the systems that don't use the traditional signal measurement method. As for you guys and what's happening next, well, that's all we've got, I'm afraid. There is no more news than that. For me, this really, more than anything, was about highlighting the situation and once again, bringing it to the forefront of everyone's minds, hopefully trying to get some more answers and push it forward. DJI is falling behind on this and the shark bite system is improving more and more all of the time. We've now got new cameras. There's a new one watt VTX around the corner as well. And it won't be long before they really are beginning to offer a compelling alternative that does have the features users want, including canvas mode. Anyway, that's it from me. That is the situation. That is the update. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you have found it interesting and helpful. If you do find it interesting and you want to see more in the future, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. If you'd like to support me in the channel, there are links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. And there is also a link to my Discord server if you want to come and harass me and ask some more questions over there too. Anyway, that's it from me. Please stay safe and I will speak to you guys again soon.